In this tutorial, I'm going to show you four square shape infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, the four squares comes in all different direction. For this, I have used a simple fly in animation effect. And you can see here, I have added a folded paper design. It is folded from the top left corner. And then it will reveal the, the option number here or the step number, the title you can change it here and the detailed text and i have just put a uh, one small icon on top of the each folded paper and i have given four different colors i have made another slide with the same color but with six square shapes so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill go to insert shapes select a rectangle and hold the shift key while dragging this uh, shape so it gets a perfect uh, square shape and shape outline make it no outline let me just increase the size a little bit then later on we can reduce the size then go to insert shapes add one more rectangle and I'm going to give some different color shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape I'm going to increase the transparency level and then using the circular arrow you can just rotate it and what the you can see here let me just increase the size all right now whatever you can see here which is uh, highlighted here the shaded one that I'm going to remove it first of all I'm just going to select both of these objects by pressing ctrl A selection all ctrl D to duplicate I will tell you why I'm duplicating this so first of all I'm selecting this rectangle or the square sorry and this rectangle go to format merge shapes you can do fragment also but uh, uh, but I'm not using fragment let me just use intersect here so that only that part remains and here I'm selecting this again by holding the shift key and I'm going to subtract it so one rectangle square I have removed the bottom part and one square I have removed the top part so I'll just bring this one here I'm going to change the color and then I'm just going to rotate it I'll just say flip horizontal and then again flip vertical and I'm just going to put it here bring to front and the cutout paper design is ready at this stage now select this shape and give some nice colors you can go to format maybe i can use any nice color let me just use this green color and i'm just selecting this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give a white color and hold the shift key and reduce the size you can see here and then just say send to back so i've just given a white this green border and then I'm just selecting this and I'm going to give the same color or you can use the the gradient fill as well the gradient fill I can just select a green color and here I can just select a light green color so you can see here and then to make it more effective we can give some shadow effects also for that go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape whichever size we need shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give the gradient fill and here the type radial and i'm just going to select which is from center and this one i'm going to select a black color and the other stop i'm going to select the white color and transparency make it 100% for the white and this also you can increase the transparency a little bit then go to uh, effects soft adjust increase the size 
you can see here and just increase it and let me just make it more transparent for the black and bring this shadow effect here and just send to back you can see the shadow effect there you can press ctrl d and you can bring one more shadow effect in this side and again just send to back all right so you can see here the shadow effect got created now I'm going to add one more uh, rectangle or square at the background. For that, I'm going to select this green. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. You can see here. Now this shape I want to convert or bring back to the uh, normal square shape. For that, you go to Format, Edit Shape, Change Shape. I'll just select this one. So it again it comes back to the normal square and you can just give some darker color here i'll just select this and exactly put it on the top and just send this to back you can see here and then you can just type a uh, text or the number zero one use some nice fonts i'm going to select the color white and let me just change the font to whichever font you like increase the size and that's it so you can see here and then you can add the detail text here the title and the detail text again go to insert text box just type your title here maybe you can center align it again always try to use the same font throughout the slides or the presentation and then i'm just going to add more detailed text here one more text box i've added equals to lorem within brackets one it will give me some latin text so that i can change it later on reduce the size maybe justify it and that's it your design is ready now if you want to give a shadow effect for example let me just select this uh, background press ctrl d you can see here and you can just increase the size and just rotate it and place it something like this diagonally you can just place it you can see here and i'm going to give a gradient fill and for that i'm going to use a linear and let me just select this i'll select the black color here and this one let it be the same color or you can use the background color whatever the background color you have and then just make it transparent full transparent and this also you make it somewhat transparent can you see here how much you need and then just go to format just say send to back so you can see here there are some out uh, the edges are popping outside so that you need to adjust it properly you can see here so this is done our first design is done i'm going to press ctrl a to select all ctrl g to group it and you can just put it one here now how many you want you can add press ctrl d again ctrl d so three on top and three at the bottom Now the problem is the size is the problem so what all i need to do is i need to select all ctrl a ctrl g to group it and hold the shift key and reduce the size you can see here and press ctrl d and bring it down now it's up to you to change the color 
of each boxes. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.